Hey y'all, this is Anya Dekudos. Welcome back. As you can see, there are some changes in my setup and I am really excited. This video is actually going to be about the different sections of my room and also my filming setup. So this area, a little bit of behind the scenes equipment that I use, just the way I have everything set up. And also it's going to be about this new chair that I am sitting on. I am super excited. I have been making a lot of changes on my channel. If you haven't noticed, I upload a lot more on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, make sure you do. It's just deco toes. It's deco toes everywhere. Also, I've made some changes on my YouTube channel. I've learned how to add the end screens and cards, such as this one right here. And this one will take you to a video of my first workspace, which was in my bedroom, just as this one is, but it was a little bit more amateur. Not that I'm all professional yet, but I think I have come a little bit of ways actually so i do hope that you will watch the entire video just a little heads up we will actually start in all the other areas of my room and the filming space will be last so i hope you watch it all you will see my sweet expo in this video as well if you do enjoy watching today's video i would really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up if you commented, I do love reading your comments uh, and I do have some regular people that comment. So thank you for that. I do hope to see some new people engaging in the comments because it's so cool to interact with all of you. But also subscribe to the channel if you are not already and hit the bell so that you don't miss any of the videos that I upload. And let's begin this tour. Okay, so we are going to start off in the most unattractive part of my room. Not that any of it is really attractive, but just bear with me here. So behind me are the boxes, and the boxes are actually furniture. Some of it is mine, some of it is not, but basically they are all packed away, and we're not unwrapping them or anything because, well, if you are new here, we moved like a year and a half ago, from Illinois to North Carolina and we are in a temporary house that we don't plan on staying in forever. Actually we were thinking that we were only going to be here about three months so we didn't bother unpacking any of it really. So we've got one piece of furniture right here. This one is actually mine. Those two are also mine. They are the IKEA cabinets with uh, like the drawers that I used in my art studio before. This I just moved here now, and you'll see why. I used to sit on another chair, if you could call it that, and then I would put this in front of me so that I could rest my leg up on it. I would also put my mirror or whatever it was that I was doing on that. This pretty much sums up this part of the room, and then we are going to move over just a little bit my bed is right here and Expo is on it, you silly boy. But yes, Expo pretty much spends most of the time on the bed. Hi Expo! So this is it and this is a very awkward placement of my bed. It's actually kind of sideways along the wall right by my window which I love because I don't know how much of it you can see, but it's our backyard over there and on the other side of the fence are cows. Well, there's a field and the guy that owns the field has cows, so sometimes we see them. And if you do follow me on Instagram, you might have seen a story of the cows. So fun fact, Expo is actually not allowed on the bed for like the longest time. He's only been allowed on it for the past six months or so. Uh, I finally decided that, you know what, I am the only one sleeping on this bed and dogs are just so comforting and they're such amazing emotional support. So aside from the fact that he is a service dog, he's also my emotional support dog. So he sleeps with me now, that's why you see this blanket here on the bed because he is technically only allowed on this blanket, although sometimes he'll like put his head on my part of the bed and stuff, but he's a cutie pie. 
he deserves all the best, all the best for my doggy. I love you. Also behind me, here's a little sneaky peeky. Well, this is not anything new, but I dug up some of my art from the boxes in my garage. And this is one of them. This is actually the only painting that I've ever done in acrylic. It is not an original. I followed a video on YouTube. If I could find it, I would link it down below. But I, it was a long time ago, so I'm not sure I'll be able to do that. But that is it right there. And I love, 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 love not having neighbors right outside my window. There's also daffodils growing right outside my window, which are absolutely beautiful. There's a lot of trees. There's a lot of birds. And today they have been singing to me so beautifully. It's a warm day, so my window is cracked open. And I love it. I absolutely love this room. This is definitely my favorite part of this house. I just like, I come in here and it's such a sunny room. I, it's the most sunny room in the entire house. And I love it. I love the tall ceilings in here. Of course, I would change a lot of things. Obviously, I would have a bed frame for one. Uh, also, I would unpack all the furniture and put all the things away. But this room has gone through a lot of transformations over the year and a half that we have lived here. And I'm constantly changing things. I have finally moved things around that so that I have a lot more room. So now it feels a lot more spacious and comfortable. And I love it. I can't even tell you how much I would love this if it was done exactly the way I wanted. Also, there's carpets on the floors, which... You might think because I walk barefoot all the time it would be good, but actually it's not good. Any hard surfaced floors are definitely a lot easier to keep clean and they are a lot cleaner. Also, it's a lot easier to move things. I do use chairs um, that are on wheels and they would be a lot... Hi! They would just be a lot easier to move even while I'm sitting on them. Carpets just make those things difficult. But I try to make the best out of everything, so... Alright then. Right next to my bed, you see a bench, which is coming in very, very handy. I just kind of have the things that I would use right before going to bed, such as foot creams and stuff like that. So, I love that being there. And then there is actually space between the wall and that bench which uh, I left it there on purpose because that way my vacuum can get in there and clean that up for me. Alright, so this area in my room is actually something new and again very temporary. My mom actually bought this table thinking that we were going to put it outside but I've kept all my art stuff, my painting stuff on the floor on a cutting mat and then I have to move it every time I wanted to vacuum and it was just getting really really annoying so now I have the table and it's really really convenient so just to give you a little bit of a close-up uh, I went to the Van Gogh exhibit with my cousin when she was here and they were giving those posters so I decided to put it up because I really have no other art except for that black and white one that I also just got from a friend uh, very very recently but in the corner over there you can see a rose that I have painted I actually painted two of those with two different variations the door leads to my bathroom actually so that's why it's closed and there you can see the paint by number elephant painting that I am still working on and I do plan on doing at least a little bit of a time-lapse video on that I actually did film some of it like right when I first got it so the plan is that I'm going to film a little bit more and hopefully show you the finished result whenever that will be. So then on my table on top, uh, I have just cleaned it up because I was painting, but I just have my mason jar with my brushes and a little lamp. And then right below you can see that blue is that cutting mat I was talking about and so that whole thing would be just on my floor. But I've put it in there and kind of made a shelf, although the table does not have an actual shelf down there and all my stuff my paints palettes uh, some of my paintings papers and all of that are over there all right so we have moved back to the bedside of my room because before we move into the filming corner I want to show you something this box is huge as you can see and let me tell you what's inside so 
one of my cousins that lives in Europe wanted to help me out. She wanted me to enhance my filming space, so she bought me a little something, and I think it's going to be a wonderful addition. I have just kind of been using things that I have around the house, you know, which we'll get to all of that. I will show you exactly what I have in there, what equipment I use, and stuff like that, and I will film that part of the video on my phone so you can really see the camera and the setup and everything. But I am super excited to open this one. I already made space for it. So let's open it up and see if I can even uh, get it out by myself. <laughs> And it's like wrapped in this like cloth almost so before I flip it I'm just going to take all of it out or off I am so thankful that it's like assembled because I was like am I gonna have to put the legs on it and stuff like that but no so that's awesome are you ready for the big review Ta -da! this is actually like super cute looking all right, let me just make sure I clean up all the things that I just took off of it. I will place it where it should be, and then I'll show you what it looks like. So, what do you think? I think it matches my uh, little nightstand so perfectly. It looks very chic and elegant. But as you can see, the legs are not very tall, but very comfortable. So thank you so much, Yustinka, for the chair. I love it. And uh, if you are interested, I will actually link her Instagrams below if you want to check her out. She did a lot of interior design and that's kind of what her Instagram is about. She does a lot of art stuff and things like that. So make sure you check her out. So the painting that you see uh, right next to me is actually uh, one that I did myself. It's an acrylic pour. I was just playing around with it but I actually really like the colors. So that's another thing that I've pulled out recently. I will hang it up on the wall, but before I do that, I have to figure out where to place it, uh, how to put everything in frame and all of that. So we'll see how all of that works out. And now I'm going to show you the actual setup and equipment that I use for filming. So I will switch over to my phone and we'll get to that. All right, here we go. I am sorry for the change in volume. Oh my goodness though, this chair is looking super nice. Like super nice. You you did a really good job with this. Like I, honestly, I did not expect it to be that cute. It is so cute, so cute. Anyways, so I used to actually sit on this one and this, you guys, me and my other cousin, who is actually a sister of the cousin that got me the chair. <laughs> So now I feel like I have both of them here with me. So cute. Anyways, we have reupholstered this one. And I will pop in a picture of what it used to look like right here. But uh, someone was throwing it out. And so we just took the, the white like leather material off of it. And it was really damaged and all of that. Uh, and we bought this material. Which is like, it's got birds on it and maybe I'll show that to you in a second. But it is working out so, so, so great. I love it. So I used to sit on this. And the reason for these two boxes is that when I sit on my chair and I put the computer here, my camera is up there. And I do use zoom a lot. And so then my camera is too low if I just put it directly on this. Although I'm thinking maybe with this chair being a little lower, We'll see, I'll have to experiment. Obviously the setup and the height changes, so now I have to figure out what is going to work the best. But that's why these two boxes are here. Uh, this is a Fat Fit Fun box, this is a vinyl box, and these boxes sure do come in handy. So that's awesome. Now I'm gonna show you what I have to do if I'm like doing a makeup video or really anything else where I have to have my foot a lot higher so that I'm sitting up more straight for the camera. Okay, so basically I put something right in front of me so that I can rest this foot on that and sit like this instead of like this. 
see the difference there's a huge difference so if i'm doing that and my camera is right in front of me i would put a mirror over here and then do my makeup this way that way i can see myself and you can see what i'm doing and it works out great and i'm actually thinking that this height is going to be really really good for working with this chair and as much as i love this because I adore this. I haven't attached the top permanently yet <laughs> since reupholstering it, but do you see this pattern? It's adorable. I love it. I love those colors. It's like giving me color, but not like too much color. I love it. So now I'm going to have to figure out if I can ditch the boxes, which obviously ruined the whole aesthetic of the whole thing. But just for me, because it's behind the scenes, you can't really see all of that. This is exciting. Now let's get to the equipment and I've upgraded. So I'm super excited to share that with you. Okay, so here is my current equipment that I am working with. And before I get into explaining all of that, which isn't really a lot to be honest with you, but before I go into that, here's a picture of what it used to look like. I had the two lamps on each side of my camera and then the tripod with the camera in the middle. So I had three tripods lined up and it was absolutely ridiculous. It was so hard for me to film anywhere else other than my filming setup area over here. And even with that, I mean, I just don't have enough space for all of that. So now with this ring light, I only have one tripod and it's amazing and I love it. I love it. Before I give you a close-up, let me just show you the brightness of this. And I will have this ring light and the microphone linked down below. So right on this side, it's got a little knob and you just turn it. And it's pretty bright. I mean, look at the difference. It's incredible, really, really incredible. So then obviously you just turn it the other way and it goes off all right so now let's get to the camera i love this ring light and i've never had a ring light like this before so i can't even tell you i guess all of them come like that but it's got an attachment right here for the camera so then the camera that i am using is the canon camera it wasn't like the most expensive or anything it was fairly cheap actually but i like that it's got the flip screen that you can fold down or open it up uh, that is very helpful I don't use like an external monitor or anything as a viewfinder I just use this for that and then this right here is a microphone that I have just purchased actually like I said I'll have that link down below but uh, I love it except for one thing so I guess for most cameras you are supposed to be able to attach it right on top which for me I flip the screen up top so I can't do that and also there isn't anything to attach it to it's got a little like thing where you're supposed to screw something in there but I don't know how to figure that out if any of you know please let me know so I just kind of stick it on the side and my camera thing is loose right now I have to fix that so this right here is the behind the scenes of Deco Toes and I am super excited I was able to share that with you all. You guys, again, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this little tour of my room and my filming space. Make sure you check out all the links down below. Make sure you check out my cousin's Instagram. And again, thank you so much for the chair. I am absolutely loving it. And I will see you again soon. Bye.